Greetings, Diocese of Olympia. Over the last year, as many of the gruesome atrocities at the hands of ISIS and other persecutions of Christians across the world has come to the fore, I've been asked more and more by many of you, what are we doing? What are we going to do? What can I do? These are difficult questions with no easy answers. So often we in the West, in our efforts and desire to give, do it in ways that make us feel better, but do little for those who need it. So I have to admit I have struggled with just what to do. So not long ago I got a call from Christ Church Anacortes telling me of a person who grew up there in that town and was now a Syriac Orthodox monk living in Mount Gabriel Monastery in the southeast corner of Turkey, just across the border from the Kurdish portion of Iraq. His name is Dale Johnson, and I want to let him introduce himself to you today, along with his project, Seeds of Hope. My name's Father Dale. I grew up in the Skagit Valley. I grew up on a dairy farm. I belong to the Syriac Orthodox Church. Perhaps you never heard of this, but this is a church that has lived behind the veil of Islam almost since the time of Jesus. Today, as you know, ISIS is chasing Christians out of historic towns, but they're really saying one thing. They're asking one thing. They say, give us hope. Seeds of hope for people in Kurdistan. Seeds of hope for people fleeing ISIS. These are Christians who are hidden behind the veil of Islam. They have held the cross high in spite of oppression, in spite of death, in spite of threats. And why should we help these people who call themselves Christian, who live so far away, who seem so strange to our traditions? Because these are the people who kept the language of Jesus alive by the copying of manuscripts, the painting of icons, and the preservation of the words of Jesus in his own language. They have suffered. Their children have suffered. Their aged have suffered. One day, an elderly woman said to me, Just give me seeds so I can go home and plant my garden. Thus was born the Seeds of Hope project. A few packets of garden seeds would allow a mother to feed her child. It would give her the dignity to put food on the table. She could tell her community that these are the Seeds of Hope. Amazingly, the other thing these Christian refugees asked for were our prayers and perhaps letters assuring them of those prayers. Brother Johnson asked me to write a letter on our letterhead simply telling them they have not been forgotten. Let's not forget them. He hopes to go back in September and he hopes to take a few people along. He's inviting you to go along if you'd like. Join me, Father Dale, September 8, 2015 as we venture into the lands of Mesopotamia, beginning in the ancient cities of Istanbul. Visit 4th century monasteries on Mount Islo. The villages like Mardin become a bridge of hope to those who are oppressed and fleeing ISIS. Visit villages inside Kurdistan pray and worship with those who are the suffering and the oppressed. Become a companion of Beth Noreen. Do not let the martyrs die in vain. Let us give them hope. Let us give them what they've asked for. If you are interested, you can call Christ Church Anacortes and ask for more information. So many Christians have fled the area, most of them immigrating to Europe but these Christians, even with the threat of danger, want to return so that Christianity will not be gone from the region forever. So I ask you to keep them in your prayers and pray for peace there among all people and on this earth. Blessings to all of you.